All right, hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you all how a motorcycle lower end works, so the transmission and the clutch. So the movement in a motorcycle engine starts with the pistons going up and down, and the crankshaft converts this energy into circular motion. And from here, the energy is transferred to the clutch, or in more specifically the clutch basket, which is the outer part of the clutch and depending on whether or not if the clutch is engaged the engine power will either be transferred to the transmission or not and if you have the clutch pulled in the this means that these two the inner part of the clutch and the outer part of the clutch spin separately from each other and therefore and power is not given to the transmission but if the clutch is not engaged these two pieces spin together and therefore the power gets transferred into the transmission. Once the engine power has come into the transmission, uh, you select the different gear ratio you would like uh, on the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth gear. And depending on how fast you want the uh, wheel to spin, which is controlled by this, uh, which normally has a sprocket on it, which would run to the rear wheel and therefore power the bike. So just to recap, the engine power starts in the pistons, which gets transferred to the crankshaft. From the crankshaft, it goes to the clutch, the clutch into the transmission, and finally transmission to the main drive shaft, back out to the wheel.